Hey guys, big flip here. This is a mail call. I just got in um, nine of the non-proof peace dollars. I got them back from PCGS. So this will be a mail call for what is going on with that. These nine were submitted separately. Each one had a sticker on it to kind of fake them out to make it look like I took a picture of every one of them and I put them on their own line and submitted them. So I think that's gonna influence the grader to pay more attention. I don't really trust them, but we'll see how it goes. So let's cut it open. I haven't even been in there. I'm gonna get my paperwork out of here first. I wonder if they gave me back my capsules this time. There's that. You think the capsules came back? Those capsules are pretty difficult to get off. Let's see. Always save your paperwork. They did not. I think they're breaking those capsules to get them off. But, all right, let's go down this road. Always save your boxes. So each and every box had a number on it. And that number um, coincided with a pick number. And so I submitted them on a separate line, every one of them. I didn't go bulk pieces nine. All right, here we go. Pretty excited about them. We'll see how it goes. I'll snatch my paperwork out of there. Let me read my paperwork real quick. Hey, they sent me my capsules back. Oh, they don't usually do that. You know how much time it took for them to get those things out of those capsules? That's crazy. Thank you, PCGS, for that. They don't usually do that. Let me wind that up so we keep those in great shape. All right, we got nine pieces. Let's start from the back and work forward. I'm going to let you know that these Morgans are not worth a lot of money right now. I have a feeling they might be down the road. I mean, these peace dollars might be worth more down the road than they are today. Remember, first strike costs you $18. To get them in, to get a first strike, attribution to these um, these peace dollars is $18 and it's $17 to grade them um, it says so each one is gonna be $35 to grade and I paid $8 $80 for them from the mint and then let's say just because they piggyback with others on the shipping so let's combine the shipping from the mint to me and from me to PCGS at each one of these at five dollars. So it, it, since it piggybacked, we're going to say two fifty from the mint to me and two fifty from me um, to them and back on PCGS. So if we go at thirty five dollars plus five dollars for the combined shipping with all my pieces, I have forty dollars into them. Let's look at this. At a 69, let me uh, bring this over so you guys can see it. These are comps from, um, these are comps from, to, from this month. And look, this one's a freak. This one was sold August 26th. It is a first day of discovery, F. Doi. But it's an MS-69, and it sold for $141. The MS-70s are not even selling for $141. But remember, these are sold items. They are what it says up here, completed listings and sold items. This thing just sold two days ago for $141. Makes me think maybe they're going up a little bit. I don't know. 
But look at here. This is a 69 F doy, 104.95. Here's one sold on August 24th, four days ago, under an auction with 21 bids at $87. This guy lost money by the time he, they sent him out for grading, brought him back. If if we're doing the math on this, I'm into each one of these coins, whether it comes back at a 69 or 70, for $120, at least. So, for in order for me to sell them, look, here's one here, but it, it's an MS-70 sold for $127. Perfect coin, 20 bids, sold at $127. Literally, that MS-70 is breaking even. Let's go down another one. This is a 70, first day of issue, in hand, 140, 33 bids. It's crazy. So, I'm just letting you know that these numbers on these Peace Dollars and Morgans are not a number that us as collectors um, are looking for. The Mint has charged us too much for these. Then also, for us to get them out for an F -do at first day of discovery and to get them back ASAP, to get them out there, remember Flash in the Pan, well, if everybody did the flash in the pan on the previous Denver Morgans, um, those things went to an incredible number. About $800 for a 70 Denver 21 Morgan right now. Let's look at these right here and let's see what's going on. And remember, I have $120 into every one of these coins so far. So let's go with the first one. I'll bring out my scope for you guys. Sorry about the phone. Mm, let's go. Ahead. Let's go back here. Here's the first one. First strike. MS seventy. I think that's about a hundred and sixty dollar coin. Possibly make thirty dollars on that thing. Great, great, great. So these, this is one of the coins that I only got nine piece and I only got nine Morgans. So I wasn't able to pick through them, unlike the proof Morgans that I just did the video on. So there's that one there. Let's just go through them real quick. There's a MS-70. I'll drop them back here. Seventy. That's three for three. There's a sixty-nine. I don't know what caused it. I'm have to look in closer on that. Pretty crazy. So that one's a 69. Another 70. 70. 70. 70 and a 70. That's crazy. You got eight 70s and 169. The 169 is a break even. This first strike in an MS 69, that's going to be a break even piece dollar by the time everything's done. And if I sell it right, that will be, I'll get back just the amount of money that I have into it. Do I sit on these 70s and hope they run up? in price in the next year i think so i think i'm also going to sit on the proofs that just came out i submitted 15 and 15 but i was very fortunate to fortunate and unfortunate that i got a bunch of the proof morgans brought in here and i sent back about 25 of each <clears throat> so i was able to pick through them i know it's kind of a tacky way to go about it but it is what it is um, I had too many in my subscription box. So you can go look at that video also too. Um, well, that's the mail call for today. I think this right here could sell all day long for $150 or $160. So that's a $30 or $40 profit that I could make on that coin um, outside of the community. Inside of the community, I might be able to make $25 bucks right now. Um, just because I'm 
I'm that guy. I wouldn't I wouldn't go crazy and you know charge the community a full a full price tag like you would find on eBay or whatever. Remember, if I sold it in the community, I can sell it for cheaper because I don't have to pay the eBay prices, um, the eBay um, cost. So, well, I hope you like the video. I hope you like the new and up and coming piece dollars. I don't know if I'll go down this road in 24. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive I won't. It's almost cheaper just to buy them um, outright by the big companies that bought lots right off the bat and got them submitted. Um, the one thing I do know is these coins, the proofs even, the proofs were for sale at the most recent big coin show. Um, I'll let you guys figure that one out. But they were for sale at the most recent coin show, which was before the release. So I don't understand how that happened. Um, but there's somebody pulling some strings somewhere in order to get that done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you look for more videos. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, comment on a previous video so that I can find you and go over and check your channel out. Until I see you again, do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out.